can you stop? Like, I actually like you, but I'm going to block you for saying that. Yeah, they, they step all over the pretty girls. Like, they know they bagged her and they're like, yeah, khalas, I don't need her anymore. Like, she, she caught feelings. It's very weird. It's very backwards mentality. So pretty, thank you. Love you. Just because I'm spreading Islamic reminders doesn't mean I'm doing... No, it's okay. Keep spreading Islamic reminders. No, I'm stopping you. MashaAllah, may Allah reward you. So it's easier. No, 100%. I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But can you stop requesting my flipping live? I'm not doing a match. Do I look wet to be doing a match? They've requested me like 10 times now. I don't do matches. They're so wet. My IG. Um, I don't give up my Instagram, but add me on Snap though. Your sister's beautiful. She is. MashaAllah. Have you been in a relationship before? Let's just keep stuff like that in the past. What makes you really interested in a man? That's a good question, not gonna lie. Um, I like a humble guy. Um, a guy that can dress 100%, like classy. It has to be good looking for me, honestly. So anyway, like, that's how I get attracted. Fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, shows off his wife. He's not extreme in anything in life. He's a very balanced guy. Simple guy. He just knows how to dress, honestly. And respects my family. That's all I care about. And has money to look after me. Because I like the finer things in life. And as do any girls on this live. Why am I saying that so shyly? I don't care. I'll say it on my chest. Can I ask you if you got nose filler? Message me, babe. Show off his wife. Yeah. But I don't mean that in a like mad way. Like, you see a lot of men, right? That's a good point. A lot of men, I don't know. Like, they... Actually, I don't know. It makes sense in my head. I don't know how to say it. When I say show off his wife, I don't mean it in like a, like a day off kind of way. Do you get it? I just mean it as a make it clear. Like, yes, that's my wife. That's my woman. Like, nothing to be ashamed of. Do you get it? That's what I mean. Yeah, even Ralph Lauren, I can't lie. Banging. Yeah, that's what I mean. Be proud. I don't mean as in, yeah, like take her out. Let all the mandem see her. No. No, because even I would be concerned and be like, what are you doing? You're not taking me seriously. Like, how are you letting your, all your friends see me? How are you letting all these guys see me in your area? It's disgusting. I mean it as in, like, let people know that you're married, that you've got a wife. Do you get it? I've added you on Snap, but yeah, I'm going to add everyone back. Moroccan and Tunisian girls are good looking, but tapped. That's a mad statement. You can't generalise. You can't generalise. I used to generalise hella, but it's not fair. Because there's a lot of Moroccan girls that I know that are not tapped at all. Like, they're really nice. They're very humble, home bodies. Like, they're good girls. And even Tunisian girls. So you can't generalise. And a lot of people nowadays are getting too comfortable talking about Moroccan girls, thinking that a Moroccan girl would even go for them. Like, you won't even bag a Moroccan girl. Don't get excited. It's mad. Like, a lot of guys are like, they come from Moroccan girls, yet you go to their country. Like, make it make sense. You go to their country, you got every snap that you're posting is in flipping Morocco. No girl looks your way and yet you call them Moroccan girls tapped and this is that. Yeah, literally. It's a fire who doesn't like how you can make them like you. It's a, huh? What about the Zionist community? Wait, I don't understand what you mean. What do you mean, sorry? No, I don't support Zionism. How are you telling the whole Algerian she supports Zionism? Are you dumb? Can you speak to us, Jazadi? Oh, what do you want me to say? I'm reply oh, to a guy. I was to a guy, I was going to say.
Sorry, I just have a lot of questions in my head. I always think a lot. Um, what's your snap and name? Louise, L-V-U-I-S-X-X-X. If you like a girl and she doesn't like you, how can you make her like you? Bro, you can't do that. That's just given obsessed. You just leave. It's not about trying to make a girl like you. She should like you already from, I don't know. Like you can't force someone to like you. Thank you. Yeah, like, do you like black guys? My type is Moroccan algorithm. My audio is wrong, huh? Audio is not timed. What do you mean my audio is not timed? It's because I just got a phone call. That's so true. Forcing not, forcing what? That's Oh, forcing it. Yeah, I know. That's so true. It's actually so difficult. But I'm not going to be a beg for anyone. Yeah, never beg it. That's really bad. Because then they're going to call you a beg. And like, that's the worst violation in the world. You don't want anyone calling you a beg in life. Honestly. You only beg and pray to Allah. That's it. You never beg no one in this dunya. Would you marry a drug dealer? Here's me talking about classy men and here's my guy asking about drug dealer. Of course not. That's so wrong for me, no way. That's disgusting. I'd rather die. But yeah. I want to see the comments. Well, that's what they all say, Louise. That's not true, bro. That's not true. Some of us just want to live a happy, peaceful life. Marrying a drug dealer is just going to bring problems to your door. And that's just so wrong. And you're putting your family at risk. You need to think about it like that. And plus, I don't support drugs. So I'm not going to marry someone that's doing it. Nah, bro. Not me, can't I? You're saying most words. You're talking for everyone. N not me, not my friends, not my sister, not my family. Nah, I'm Algerian. But what if... Nah, I'll make sure I don't love someone that's doing drugs. Uh, that's not for me. Bad guys is not it, literally. As you mature, you realise... Maybe when you're younger, you go through a little phase, you might think, yeah, like, this is that. No. When you get older, you realise that that's not what you want. You do not want a bad guy. You don't want none of that. You want a classy man who literally, even your dad will literally love. Your dad will be like, yeah, you chosen well. Like, Ew, what, what's a drug dealer? Imagine going out with your man and then you're, you're, having, like, you're having to duck down because his ops walk past. Is that the life you want to live? You never know who's going to come barricading through your door because your man didn't pay a guy some money for whatever. No, that's not the life you want to live. You want the police to be raiding up your house. No. You want to live a peaceful life, a happy life. Without all of that rubbish. No. You need to think like that. Yeah, of course it's long. You're doing it to yourself and to your family. Think about your kids as well. And then imagine the kids are going to follow the father's footstep. It's, it's very embarrassing. And then, and then, and then when you're out, whilst you're ducking down whatever, because of police and you're scared, da, da, da. and your husband's in and out of prison, you see these classy women with their classy-ass husbands treating them so well. And then that's when you realise, what have I done? Like, I made the wrong choice. No, of course not. What about if he does what he does to provide to his family because he's the man of that? No, there's so many other ways you can provide for your family. Bro, you live in flipping London. The job opportunities is mad. There's always a way. Work harder, work smarter. No, I'm sorry. No, thank you. Pass. Not for me. Maybe for another girl, but not for me. I don't know why it's delayed. I really don't. Uh, I don't know how to change it. It's because I got a phone call. <sighs> no, Baraka. Literally, wallah, that's what it is as well. It's... So especially because of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like, the so one thing, that like, drugs are mad. I'm not marrying a guy that does drugs. I'm so sorry. Even if he smokes cigarettes, I don't think I can hack that. I find it disgusting. It's dirty. It stinks. I think that you would marry a guy who works at Tesco. Huh? What's your Snapchat? It's L-V-U-I-S triple X. 
What do you mean, works? I don't understand your statement. A job is a job, as long as he's not doing a mad job like drug dealing. Honestly, you've got to respect the grind. Don't be like Ish, that got cancelled.